In this video, we're going to look at the study area map making. So this is a study area map that we are going to make. So this is the study area. Uh, the study area is Karachi of Pakistan. And here we have the entire Pakistan map opened. So let's make a map similar to this. We're going to follow the processes I did to make this map. So let's go to GIS. Now, at first, we're going to need to insert the map that has Karachi here there we go but for example say that you don't know where Karachi is so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the attributes table here we can use an option that is called find and replace you may be uh, familiar with find and replace if you have worked on Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel previously now there we go and here we can type Karachi Karachi and now click on find next as you can see it has found Karachi here now we can close that and select Karachi from there close the attributes table as you can see it has been selected now do a right click on the file and then go to selection and create layer from selected features so our layer has been created now let's rename our layer let's call it Karachi okay now apply and okay now we're going to change the color. We do not need to save uh, save this layer as an uh, individual shape file because we're not making shape files. We're going to be making a study area map. So let's change the color first. Uh, let's say uh, let's give it a color that will distinguish it from the others. Let's see how does this look. How about that mm -hmm. there's a swamp linear gradient sand suburb open pasture let's go with a deep color let's go with a deeper color so let's say let this time let's use a purplish color with the line height of 2 now click ok now it has been distinguished there now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the layout view there we go we're at the layout view but as you can see i don't want the layout view to be in letter size shape uh, so let's change it we know how to change layout view now now from letter we're going to go to not oversize a n s i c there we go and we'll take landscape click on ok there we go it is done now let's bring this map here somewhat here there you go let's keep it there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect it go to selection clear selected features now it is no longer selected there now we need another map the map of Karachi here so how am I going to bring it here so to bring it here we'll go to the insert tab from there we're going to insert a new data frame click on that and as you can see a new data frame has been added so if i had saved karachi as uh, another shape file i could have dragged that shape file and put it on the data frame for example uh, let's just take what we have here bdg districts let's take one uh, for example let's take dhaka and bring it here as you can see this now contains dhaka but i don't want dhaka here so i'm just going to remove it now if you don't have a shape file ready like that here how you can put in a new data so that is what i'm going to show you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a right click on karachi and copy it by clicking on copy then here in new data frame select that do a right click and then click on paste layer or layers now as you can see karachi has been moved here now the problem is we will have to zoom it there we go it's zoomed in there we go it is there now what we can do is we can make the area bigger there we go there we go there we go we have made the area bigger uh, actually that's a bit too big let's small it up now we are going to click on the zoom to extent and as you can see the zoom to extent will not do in this case because I have copied it here if I had taken it from another file zoom to extent would have made our work easy but if you don't want to copy a file you'll have to do it the way I am doing it okay let's click on zoom to extent again 
I followed. There you go. Too much. Too much. At times like this, you may think, rethink that I should have saved it as a shape file and then done the work instead of doing it like that. All right, let's try this one. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's finally done let's bring it here now it's done now what we're going to do is we're going to add lines here and give a box here just in, like in the picture there we go now to do that what we're going to do is we are going to need a new to new toolbox here new toolbar sorry and in the last video uh, i called the layer toolbar uh, what do you what did i call it i think i called it a tab it's not a tab it's a toolbar it's the layer toolbar and this time we're going to need the draw toolbar so i'm doing a right click here and then i'm going to select the draw toolbar on now we have the draw toolbar here from here i'm going to take a rectangle there we go now I'm going to zoom in here there we go there we go now I'm going to create a rectangle around my study area now I'm going to go to fill color and do a no color on that and in the border color let's say we want to see the border as green colored so we're going to give it a green color and as you can see it is now done now what we are going to do now is from the rectangle we are going to change, take line now click on this point and then zoom out there you go and then we are going to click on this point we need a double click to release so I have did a double click if you do a single click it will not release it will just continue let me show you how it works now on the second part let's do a one click now when I do a one click here uh, it's, you can see that it is continuing so to release it we need to do a double click so it is now done now let's see what is left now what we need to do is we need to add legend north arrow so first let's add the north arrow here so since we do not need the toolbar anymore I'm going to cut it now go to insert go to north arrow choose any north arrow you want place it wherever you want i'm placing it there there we go there we go there we go we're done now we're going to give the names study area karachi and here we are going to give pakistan so what we can do is go to insert and insert title here let's write pakistan click on ok here we have the title now if you want to edit the title you can do a right click on it go to properties and here you can type the text to change and then you can also change the size and propo size and position so this is the size this is the width this is the height for me it looks uh, perfect in this case so I'm not changing it but we could change it a bit so let's do a 2 inch a solid 2 inch and then here we have 0.5825 so do an apply click on ok now this looks a bit more better so let's keep it at that now we're going to go to insert now we're going to insert another title which still says pakistan so we have to change it uh, we can do a double click on it to open the properties as well now let's give it a solid three and if you click on the heights function then it is taking a ratio to match the three inches now apply and as you can see it is done now let's go to text and change the text to let's say study area in bracket we're going to write Karachi close the bracket now you can also change from these options click on apply and ok as you can see it is done let's bring the writing there 
there we go now what we need to do is let's take a look we need to add a legend but before we add a legend let's give the bar here and the data as well let's go to insert now we're going to do the scale bar now let's take this bar but the problem is you can see that my bar is showing kilometers but uh, this bar is not showing kilometers this bar is showing meters so to change it we're going to go to properties and from properties you have scale and units so the units is showing miles so i'm going to change miles to kilometers there you go kilometers and then we have numbers and marks we have format so let's just change the two kilometers click on apply okay now this bar click on okay and the bar is here if i zoom in you'll see it is now showing kilometers okay so let's drag the bar wherever we want it there you go let's place it there now let's insert the uh, scale text for the bar click on it now we have 10 centimeters equal 1 centimeters equal to 10 kilometers if you want to change that unit too you can go to properties and then from there you can change the centimeter units to inch units so 1 inch is equal to 25 kilometers now you can also change the kilometer units to feet so 1 inch is equal to showing 83.33 feet in this case so let's keep it at kilometers since our example showed 1 inch equals to kilometers so we're going to do that one inch equals to kilometers click on apply click on okay click on okay now it is here now let's just place it there there we go it is showing us one inch is equal to 10 kilometers okay so it is done there now whatever's remaining let's take a look is our legend here and the title here and the gradient of the entire page so let's add those go to insert click on legend now let's do it to next 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 and finish it up there you go we have the legend here and the legend only is showing for karachi right so i need a, a legend that also shows for pakistan so I'll click here go to legend look at the insert click on legend now we have Karachi we have only Karachi which is a bit odd now select this go to properties mm, that's a bit problematic let's go to insert go to legend yeah we have the two now click on two next 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 finish now we have the two here there we go since I had uh, clicked on this uh, this one, the new data frame has only one file. That's why only one legend, the legend for only one file was showing. When I clicked on this and then clicked on this, now it is gone to this layer which has two files. That's why the legend is showing two files. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a right click on it, go to properties. And from there we're going to change the width and height. So. Previously, I have seen uh, with 7 does well. If I click on height, it is taking the ratio. Click on apply and OK. It is done. Now, as always, we're going to convert it to graphics. Then we're going to ungroup it. Now, click on legend and then bring the legend just down there. Click on Karachi. Bring Karachi there. Click on Pakistan bring pakistan there now to align these two press the control button and select them both do a right click go to alignment and then uh, click on to align vertical center there we go these are now aligned now whatever is remaining is this title and the background and the base map here okay so let's give it another title go to insert and you can also give text but i'm using title now the title is here let's rename the title do a double click on it and say study area click on apply click on ok there we go as the place is short for us we're just going to keep it at however it looks it looks a bit odd but you can do it better yourselves I'm just showing you the process now 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert again from here we're going to go to neat line so i have already chosen the background as circular gradient click on ok and as you can see it is the circular gradient now we're going to adjust the height and width to match the printout page there we go now it is matching now what we need to do is we need to add a background to it a base map to it click on that now we go add base map This may take a while because of the net speed. We take light gray a canvas, click on add. This may take a while. All right, uh, it is here now. Now I'm just going to uncheck the word light gray reference. There we go. We have our study area, Karachi. There is the study area. Here's Pakistan. We have our legend, Karachi Park ADM2. Now I can change the name of it too. We just double click on it. And from Park ADM2, let's just call it Pakistan. Okay. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now it is not changing because as you can remember, uh, once we convert it to graphics, you cannot change it from there anymore. So let's see if we can change it or not no we cannot no longer change it so before you convert it to graphics make sure that the name represents whatever you want it to represent so that is it about it for this video we just need to export it so here we go to export map and if you just export it here as let's call it Karachi 2 save it as JPEG and it will be save there there you go it's done now if you wanted to print it you just need to go go to print preview never click on print at first so once you go to print preview you'll see if you what you like then you can click on print to print it you can zoom in also zoom out now let's close it so let's take a look at the picture there is our file, JPG file, this is study area of Karachi. So that is how you do study area mapping. I hope this video was helpful and you got to learn something new. Thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.